everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the host file on your Windows computer. We'll talk about why you wanna do this along the way, but let's get right on into it here. And right off the bat, I have this web page up. It's just a bunch of files, and it's at an IP address, this 4579.133.213 IP address. Now, I'm gonna be using this for the next year or so, and uh, instead of typing in this IP address every single time, wouldn't it be easy to just type in a name a into your web browser and then go to that um, that website, this website right here? Well, that's what we're gonna do by adding the host file. Um, this is kind of how like the whole internet works with domain names, like instead of going to you know 172.55.63.284 or whatever Google is, you just type in google.com and then you go to that website. Um, but we're gonna do something like that on locally on our computer. And we can do that with the ETC, or not the ETC, the host file. So um, let's go ahead and do that. And in order to do that, we can go into your search uh, bar down here and type in notepad. And what we wanna do is run this as administrator. Uh, make sure you do it as administrator because um, the file that we're editing is like a system file and it's um, not gonna let you edit it otherwise. So let's go to file, open, and now um, I'm actually already at the path here, but I'll walk through it with you. Um, so you're gonna start off, click on this PC, go to your C drive, Windows, come down here to system 32, and then drivers, and then ETC, I'm sorry, not ETC, um, Yes, ETC, I forgot. Uh, we have to filter it by um, not just text files, but all files, and then you see the host file in here. So that's the full path, Windows System32 drivers ETC hosts. So go ahead and open that file. And here you'll see, um, I was already in here. Um, I added this, this line right here, but I'll add it again just to show you how this works. So this is what it's gonna look like for you. Come in here, add a new line, type in the IP address that you want to map. So 45.79.133.213 for me. And then if you wanna make it look nice, you can come over here and let's let's pick a new name. Let's say this is um, Tony Tony's files, okay? So when we save this file, I'm gonna be able to type in Tony's files instead of this IP address to my web browser. So let's go ahead and save it. So file, save and we'll leave it open, but come back over here. And, and now, here's the thing. If, you type, if I type in Tony's files right now, it's not gonna work. It's gonna go search Google or Bing or Yahoo, whatever I'm using here. Um, so we don't wanna do that. We wanna type in, there's two options, HTTP colon slash slash Tony's files, and it will take us to our, uh, the, same, the same thing, it's just zoomed in over here, something like that. Or we can type in, Tony's, and it's already suggesting it for us, files, slash. So it knows that it's, it's like a signal to it that it knows that it's a, a website. And there, that same thing pops up here. Um, so pretty cool, pretty neat. This is, uh, and it's pretty simple too, right? Not too much to do, except just mapping that IP address to whatever name you want. And you can see how this could be pretty cool if you're working with a lot of IP addresses. Very cool shortcut. So guys, if you have any questions about editing the host file on your Windows computer, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.